I don't know, like, can you see? <gasps> hey guys, welcome to today's episode of Our Two Cents. We've got Patricia Kihara back! Woo! And she is fascinated by my belly because my belly is doing like um, somersaults and moving there, 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 there. Oh, that was like a so Happy. the baby. Well, I know this happens. I know the baby kicks and whatnot. And as the baby grows bigger, the Their movements, movements are, are more pronounced, yeah. and it just looks so weird because Shan is just there, like, oh, can you see? And yeah, it's like yeah. she's belly dancing, but really she's not. Yeah, I'm not. It's just there's something moving. It's I think they're thing. gone. They're done now because we, they want us to talk today. Yeah. No, but we have really missed Patricia. I know you guys have missed her as well. Um, <laughs> so we brought her back, and today we're going to talk about boys. Living. Yeah, boys. But specifically, living together. And if that's something you would do, why wouldn't you do it if you wouldn't do it? How do you feel about moving in with a man or a woman, right. depending on who your partner is, before committing or if you, is that something that you yeah. would do I mean I've never done it before I'm, I'm really old school in that way yeah um, but I would be open-minded yeah if it was someone that I was committing myself to yeah right. How I know do you feel? we grew up being told you know no sex before marriage and you can't even consider the thought of I know, we're both living with someone <laughs> no sex before marriage I think the three of us feel anyway let's yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, you know, so I've never moved in with someone, like mm. actually packed up and right. go and have a place that's ours. I've mm. never done that. But there was somebody I was seeing some time back and I spent a lot of time at his place, mm. to be honest. Mm. Majority. Just, what was like the ratio? Yeah, is it like 70%, 60? Yeah, a lot percent. <laughs> 99. Like every percent. A lot percent. 99.9. .9. Like, you know when you're at the point where you're going home to pick up your clothes and just oh, to make sure okay. your laundry is done and to make sure the house is... But <laughs> I still had my yours. spot. Yeah. So you, you were my, there. You were yeah. there. <laughs> you know, and every once in a while I'd be like, hey, uh, can we go visit my, my place? <laughs> yeah. Would you like to come make a visit yeah. or something? <laughs> so, but... Living together, like actually making the decision to say, hey, mm -hmm. let's move in together. Whether it's moving into his place or him moving into my place or mm -hmm. us moving into a brand new place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, I'm so conflicted. I feel like there's, de there's definitely several reasons why people do that. Okay. Right? It could be to cut costs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? That actually, yeah. So is, is that a pro? That's a pro. That's well, a, yeah, it's a pro. That's an advantage for yeah, sure. Yeah, for like sure. Everything is in half or, now. So right. it just makes sense. It's... And sometimes it's, it's if you have a two bedroom place or a one bedroom place and he has a two bedroom place or a one bedroom place and you're paying 30 and 30, right. then you find a three bedroom place for 50. Yeah, it's, it it's even a better space, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. I, 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 so I guess it is a plus. It's okay, bonus. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you get to but, share bills and you get to. But that's assuming that you guys are splitting things and it's very like. You know, I think there's I definitely think whichever way, yeah. it, whichever okay. way, there's like some splitting of costs, mm -hmm. whether it's exactly down in the middle or I, I just would imagine it would alleviate the pressure on both parties yeah. on the kind of bills that they've got to pay. It just makes it more convenient, however yeah. the arrangement is. Yeah. I mean, okay. even if the guy offers to pay for everything or if you decide, you know, the guy pays the rent, you pay the, All the utilities, utilities, whatnot, okay. yeah. it just makes it a lot more convenient yeah. for sure. Yeah. Two, if you're spending more time at somebody's house, then it, mm. it just feels less wasteful. Oh, that's true. Well, I don't understand. Like, for instance, at that time when I was spending... 99.9%. Oh, right, yeah. And you still had that space, but you were barely there. Exactly. Right, yeah. Yes, people will say, but, you know, aren't you glad you still had your spot when you broke up? Mm. Yeah, but, you know, are you thinking about that when you're in a relationship with someone? Or even when you're married, you, you're still... So, the sex in the city. <laughs> Carrie Bradshaw still had her pad. And then in the second movie, they had a fight and she went to stay in her apartment for two, three days so that she could work. Mm -hmm. And then when she came back, Big was like, hey, I love like this so much. Let's like, you know, Just three stay days in a your week. own place. Let me find my own place. Yeah. yeah. And she was like, wait, what? You want a break from us? And they were married. Yeah. yeah. So there's the whole, uh, are you optimistic about your relationship? And I feel like, yes, mm -hmm. in a relationship, you're not married or committed. But the same thing with marriage nowadays, it's like the option of divorce is such a... Yeah. A so either like you're in, full in, yeah. or then you're out. You shouldn't be dipping your toes, you in shouldn't and out. be like, yeah. but I have this backup plan. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's just like with signing um, prenuptials. Right. I mean, if you 
like, I don't know, I'm not really for the whole prenup thing because, I mean, I digress. Prenup! I know, but I don't know how I feel. No. But I don't know if I, if I have a... If, I don't know if I'm against it really. really, but you know, yeah, about prenups. I, I don't think like I am. Like I'm not. not I'm just. I'm not so against prenups, is which like, is what I would assume I am because I'm so pro mm. love and so mm. pro making it work. But a prenup is like a wheel for your marriage. But it just yeah. no. But I also just remember from like law, business mm-hmm. law, which is an elective I took. It, I remember the lecturer saying sometimes it just makes business sense because even even when we don't have much. Mm. Like we go into it and I'm like, ah, 50 bob, you have 50 bob. Let's still get a clean up because mm-hmm. when you do get married and something went wrong, and it's not, not even like about half something half. went wrong with you, the two of you, but if you were in business together mm-hmm. and you signed that document, they're not going to uh, come for the house if it was. I mean, I just remember it right. being like, oh, okay. it could be a smart thing rather than it just being like, I'm after your money. So I, I just, mm-hmm. I don't feel the same. But I think about moving in together, I moved in with Honor when we were engaged. Mm-hmm. And I think that I think living with someone can really put a strain on your relationship because like you, I would spend a lot of time at his place. Um, not majority of my time, but a lot of time. And you think you sort of know someone until you move in together and it's suddenly like, I don't know. It's, I, it's I, like I, even your fights before He's in his room, he's like, come here to Papa Chili. You expect me to pick up your underwear, Who your I? socks? Yeah. Excuse me, can you replace the toilet paper? <laughs> Why are you leaving these dishes here? Yeah, yeah, it can, it can be like that, or not even like in that sense, but in the sense that if you have a fight, you can't have how your do own you, space. Yeah, there's no space, so it's like having to deal with that, and I think it, right. it prepared us to deal with those things better now because I mean we still are we're not even like a year into our mm. marriage, so there's still a lot we need to learn. But it it I found that it sort of and it forced can, you to just mm. deal and confront certain things that you may not have had to deal with. But again. I was engaged, so it was more like we're you know, committed. It's, yeah, yeah, it's committed. Like but I would totally I do that because would you, knowing that I'm growing, like we're growing together into the next step, and yeah. because we need to learn a little bit more about each other, yeah. I would be willing to take that step. But if there wasn't any engagement, we're just like I don't know, dating, seeing yeah. each other. I think it might be a little too soon. Yeah, but what's ev- too soon? Like, yeah, how, if you how long has a relationship? Yeah. Ev- everyone has a different like perspective on their relationships, yeah. and like they they progress at different yeah. times. So, I know I have a friend who dated. She started dating, and I think in like three, four months they moved in together. Oh, or even weeks. What am I saying? And did it work what? out? They were together for three, four years. But the, yeah, so they did break up eventually, oh, wow. but I don't think it had anything to do, to with, do with them that. moving in together. Yeah. So I think we've just got into a space in time where it really just depends on your personality. Yeah. It where you on, are in life. Exactly. Yeah. And what, what, yeah. what is your intention? Exactly. Because also, by the time you're moving in with someone, you really are committing to them. Yeah. And then there's the, it's there's a huge commitment. There's the things to think about. Would you rather move in with someone after you get married and learn, start to learn little things about them yeah. after right. you're married? Yes, this does it put a strain on your marriage or does it strengthen it? Does it make you for me the question is now that we're married, there's no out. There is no out. Right? Except this divorce. But now that we're married, <laughs> but you're not going, going, in, there's going no into out. it with like yeah. you're not going into yeah. it with an out right. in mind. But there then does no it out. put does that put strain on the marriage? Does it for some people it makes sense to sort of live together mm-hmm. before you get married so that you know if you really are suited for yeah, each other, but, so then, but I think I think by the time, in my opinion, by the time you decide, for me at least, by the time I, you decide to you want to move in with someone, mm. I imagine that you envision being with them for the long right. run. So yeah. even moving in is about, it's not just about, yeah, I'm just testing to see if I'm really yeah. into this. But so, so many people, like, that, that might be the it case. It could be the case to see. It's like, just a convenience yeah. thing. But some people, they want to, you know, they speak about no sex before marriage. <laughs> but sometimes they are told, and you test out the 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 come and stick shift, come and automatic, you know, how the car is going to operate. So that on your wedding night, you are not crying, you are not just depressed. You are wondering, have I committed to this useless? Not Actually, useless. I feel like that's useless. useless. Not useless. Right. Open. Would yeah. you do it, Susan? I I would also be open to it. It just it depends on circumstances. Yeah. Because. Not not everyone is is lucky to be sharing something where they're in the same city or something. So maybe 
when you move forward, it might be leaps and bounds at a different pace. I feel like there's a lot being revealed in this video. Yeah. Um, I, it's, it's it takes a lot for me to live with someone. Like even in yeah. uni, I had to pay double for a, a room. Oh, no. Oh. Even living with friends is a dangerous yeah. thing. So, and it gets really petty. Yeah. Like it gets really yeah. stupid. I'm very, yeah. I'm very specific with my housemates yeah. as well. Like yeah. you gotta interview them like, like, yeah, yeah. It's, that's, so that's if you're not cleaning the love. sink after yeah. you wash the dishes, why are you not cleaning the yeah. sink? And why are you not polishing this grass completely? <laughs> you know, it's such stupid things. Oh, like, oh, you know, I thought she said grass. But I no, get it now. Glass. Yeah. The glass. No. The glass is like, you have. Yeah. I was like, why is she polishing, polishing grass? Polishing. Hey. Polishing. Yeah. Clearly, she's she quite Kenyan. Yeah. 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 What do you guys think? I obviously, it's something Winter, that I yeah. would do because I, I did it. And I think it. it I think it's. It makes a lot of sense. I think it's, it's so important. I think having mm-hmm. gone through it, I wouldn't undo it okay. or redo or do things differently for sure one thing to note about your situation though yeah. is that you were moving from your parents home yeah. into your mm. home with this person yeah. yeah and for me i think it. but would there be was important. a moment of a long time yeah yeah but i think it would be important also to just have know your yes. space and know have yourself. your own yeah. live by yeah. yourself yeah. first 100%. before you live with someone for sure yeah. absolutely right I, I think space seeing, with, seeing with Sharon's right example and her yeah. experience, it's, it's, it's hopeful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's hopeful, but I guess you have to have an open mind and, yeah. and I think, be ready. Yeah, the message is just, it, it, it depends on the relationship. Can you sing Open Mind? Is there a song called Open Mind? No. <laughs> she can make one though. I can. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> okay. Okay. We love you, Patricia. Oh, gosh. Get better soon. Sorry, I'm and anyways guys subscribe to our channel and comment below would you guys live with someone would you not pros and cons yeah and where where do you where do you stand on it is it is it good or is it like don't even think about it exactly but yeah. until then have a good day <laughs> day yeah and we will see you guys in our next video and we'll try and get Patricia Kihara to come back because yeah I think she's just a and, star. And she'll also sing Open Mind for you guys next time. Check out our Two Cents playlist for more videos and don't forget to subscribe.